A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. It is with the deepest of regrets that I have to announce the passing of Carlton Livingston, the patriarch of the Livingston family and the brother of the late reggae superstar, Bunny Whaler, is dead. Born March 25th, 1945, Livingston died on Thursday, two days short of his 78th birthday. Donna Caradice, the sister of the late Bunny Whaler, made the announcement on Facebook Thursday evening with an odd felt post under the name Never Livingston. Carlton Livingston, the first son of Thaddeus Livingston, an elder brother of Never Livingston, transitioned March 24th, 2023. It's a solemn and memorable time for family and friends who loved and depending on his caring and skillful service too and for all and sundry. The man in and off the streets had quartered for years at the Red Hills Road Plaza running things, Caradise wrote. With Bonnie Whaler's death in 2021, Livingston was a senior member of the family who the reggae icon trusted to ensure his wishes were executed. Seven years ago, Bonnie Whaler determined how he wanted to manage his affairs while alive and after he passed, and Carl Livingston was named as a trustee and executor of his estate. He ran things for Bunny all their lives together, defending him as a youth and managing him as a Solomonic whaler. Carl Carl was Bunny's calling card for family, friends and business. Caradise said in the post, Livingston is survived by his wife Mary and sons Derek and Dennis. We salute Carlton Livingston for his life of human service as the testimonies of lifelong friends and companions begin to pour in and overflow as a great big cushion for his loved ones in this time of physical separation and grief, Bunny Whaler's sister added. And ladies and gentlemen, it is at this time I want to extend my personal condolences to the Livingston family. My heartfelt condolences to you. I understand your pain. I know you're suffering at this particular time. I know Carlton was loved and is extremely missed by his immediate families and friends. But as you know, they say the Lord knows best and it is a road for all of us eventually one day. So I'm asking the family to hold tight at this time and you know, just hold tight and keep the faith and keep your heads together. As I know someone will now eventually head the estate of Bunny Whaler. Bunny Whaler was also a great friend of mine, ladies and gentlemen. I happened to meet him on many occasions personally and I dialogue with the legend slash icon. I remember a number of shows that I did, one in Negril where I hosted the event and it was a powerful, powerful event. Seeing the legendary whaler performing and majority of the fans there were white people and they were just clamoring for more. We miss Bunny Whaler a whole lot and now we're paying our condolences to his brother, Carlton Livingston. May his soul find eternal peace. There you have it ladies and gentlemen I'm just imploring at this time that we should love each other, all your family members, keep in touch, touch base with each other even if you're not asking for anything just to say are you okay or just to tell a family member how much you care for them, how much you love them because remember in death all those words will fall and deaf ears. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. 
please share and like this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel now is the time to do so